Hello, my name is Cubitect and this is an update video on my Cubitic mod, or rather it's a showcase for a new feature that I've added, which is a packet analyzer. Now obviously between the server and the client there's a lot of communication done and that's in the form of packets. And what my mod allows you to do is now view these packets and also their content. Now obviously there are lots and lots of different packets and like I think over a hundred or so and I'll own, I've only implemented eight so far but there'll probably be more in future. Uh, if you've got some particular packets that I should add then you can tell me in the comments and I'll see what I can do. But um, essentially you can watch almost any events happening in the world with this if I add all the appropriate packets of course. Um, so for instance if I wanted to say uh, watch all the mobs that spawn then I can say something like this and set the analysis mode for that active or true and now whenever a mob spawns whoops and we are in peaceful but essentially if I now spawn something it will tell me oh okay in this particular tick and at uh, these coordinates and all the extra information like rotation and motion I sent here uh, with this packet and essentially something that I shouldn't mention is that these packets are analyzed when the networks uh, well looks at the packet and ha uh, interprets it and gives it to the client world. So essentially it's interpreted just as the client uh, does what it does with the packet or when the packet arrives at the client. But anyway, so another thing you can do with this is if you activate these three different types of packets uh, then you can essentially debug redstone with this. So if I have multi block change and block change and block action and I set all these to true. And now if I do something like, oh, let me actually do tick rate first and make this kind of slow. And now if I do this, then you can watch in action all the events that actually uh, the client actually receives and also what's going on in the world. And what's kind of interesting is here also whenever I click a block then it gets sent, um, the block gets sent in the uh, to the client uh, which is why um, ghost blocks also disappear when you click them for instance. And also here uh, I click the, uh, the, the iron block in order to place the redstone block and then apparently the redstone block updated itself or something like that. But if you want to debug redstone with this, um, obviously you there are a few things you have to be cautious about. Well, the first is that you will need to have everything in a single chunk because, oh, well, you don't have to, but uh, the thing is that uh, all the events that occur in a single chunk will be sent in the same packet. The order within these multi-block um, multi changes is probably more useful though um, because that is, should be the same always. And yeah. Another thing is obviously you uh, don't actually analyze what's going on on the server but rather, rather just what all the changes were that the server calculated and now sent them over to the client so the client knows oh I have to make this piston extend and render that as well. Anyway, that is that for uh, packet analysis. Uh, another small feature that I've just added is a re-render, a re-render command, which essentially does the exact same thing as pressing F3 plus A, so it just reloads the world. And this might be useful for people that want to do a uh, record a time lapse or something like that. So you might want to set the tick rate to uh, slightly less so that the world has time to render and then 
um, do a re-render command to refresh everything uh, so that big flying machines don't visually break up or something like that. And then you can automate this with command blocks. Uh, the last thing I wanted to say about this mod is that it is now open source. So you can find the source code on GitHub. Uh, there'll be a link in the video description. And also I have um, have a, well, a development version that's just experimental version for 1.8.9, which I'm using right now. But uh, there's no source code for that right now, obviously, because it's obfuscated. And I just wanted to see how to make mods without MCP. And interestingly enough, on the day that I finished this project, uh, MCP was released for 1.8.8. .8. So, but I haven't gotten that to work yet, even. So, anyway, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope this will be useful to some of you. Bye.